it's Vinicius Brazil with another episode of American Dream TV Santa Clara edition. Now today I'm in downtown Santa Clara. Downtown is located in 95050. It's the original part of the city of Santa Clara. It borders the campus of the University of Santa Clara and features some amazing historical homes. We're here at Jiren's Cafe for one of their amazing artisanal coffees. Jiren Cafe is a non-profit neighborhood cafe. They are known for their unique drinks, which include matcha, boba teas, local espressos and coffee, as well as fruit and herbal drinks. Now that we have our drinks, I'm gonna take you to what is arguably the most famous home in all of Santa Clara. Let's take a look. We're in the old quad neighborhood of Santa Clara, which is surrounding the downtown. Like many of the surrounding cities, Santa Clara has its origins as a small agricultural town dating back to the 1850s. Now what makes Santa Clara so special is it was a key player in the valley's agriculture and other industries. And as a result, it has a number of beautiful and grand Victoria era homes. Most notably is the Morse Mansion. This spectacular Queen Anne Victorian home, known as the Morse Mansion, was built in 1892 for Charles Copeland Morse. There are a number of prominent homes built at the turn of the century with varying styles throughout the Old Quad neighborhood. Next, we're heading to one of Santa Clara's most unique and relatively unknown properties, the Carmelite Monastery. If you're driving south on Winchester Street, you'll eventually run into a large parcel of land with rose-colored walls and wrought iron gates. This is the Carmelite Monastery, and it was constructed in 1917. The property is open to the public to walk through. As you enter, you'll walk through a grove of olive trees, and there's a small chapel. It's a serene place, and it feels like you're stepping back in time. Our next stop is perhaps the most beautiful place to visit in Santa Clara, the campus of the University of Santa Clara. Let's take a look. The university is one of the oldest in the entire West Coast. Originally established in 1851, it's evolved into a world-class center for learning and one of the top universities in the region. Now, part of the campus is home to the Mission of Santa Clara, which dates back to Spanish rule in 1777. When visiting, make sure you stop by the Mission and walk through the beautiful courtyards and gardens. You'll see remnants of the old adobe wall that still stands. Also on campus is the De Sasset Museum, which houses thousands of art pieces and local historical artifacts. It's a warm day out and we've done quite a bit of walking. I think I'm ready for a nice cold drink and I know just the spot. Finishing our tour of 95050 right here in Taplands in downtown Santa Clara. If you're a beer aficionado, you're gonna love Taplands. In addition to brewing its own beer, it features 25 rotating craft beers on tap and a cooler stocked with unique craft beers you won't find anywhere else. It's a great place to meet friends, hang out on a nice sunny day, and enjoy a nice snack and to treat your palate to some of the best beers around. I had a great time showing you some of the best stops in Santa Clara's 95050, and I hope you enjoyed seeing and learning about some of the great history surrounding Santa Clara. Make sure the next time you're in town to stop by Jiren's Cafe and Taplands for some great drinks and company, and be sure to join me next time on American Dream TV, where we'll tour the north side of Santa Clara, look at the NFL's newest stadium, and see what the future holds for Santa Clara.